The big story tonight, danger on the roads. Right now, police are working overtime to ensure we celebrate 2015 safely. The Montgomery County OVI Task Force is doing saturation patrols, meaning police are flooding the roads in towns throughout the Miami Valley looking for any impaired drivers. But too many families are ringing in the new year without their loved ones who's lost their lives taken by drunk drivers. One mom who lost her son to a drunk driver is sharing her pain and compassion. Jackie Kucher is live in Dayton tonight with her story. Jackie. Nancy Cooper has spent a lot of time here at the corner of Wilmington and Wayne. It's where her son died along with a family friend. Tonight, as you head out to celebrate, she wants you to be safe. And this year, for the first time, she feels like she too has something to celebrate. I just like having them close to me. It's a special corner of Nancy Cooper's home. A small memorial to her son, Corey, and family friend, Christina Jackson. Three years ago, they were killed by a drunk driver. You know, it was rough. We just pretty much fell apart. Our, our lives were torn to shreds. She's asking anyone who will be celebrating the new year with alcohol to make a simple decision. Don't make that horrible choice. Um, call somebody. Um, have somebody take your keys away at the bar. For Nancy, 2015 is about forgiveness. She's going to meet her son's killer in prison. She and Robert Finkley have separately been meeting with prison reps who are fully vetting them to ensure they are both ready. He's lost just as much as we have. And, you know, a lot of people think it's crazy that I want to meet him. And, you know, people can think that. People can hate me or whatever for doing that. But it's something I have to do for me. And um, in all honesty, he would tell you that what he did was absolutely wrong. He has a lot of remorse for it. Her hope is they can someday share their heart-wrenching story together. I want to help other people. Um, I don't want them to have these horrible things that happen to us. I don't want them to have to live their lives the way we did, you know, in pain and agony and grieving all the time. For now, she holds tightly to the memories and spends a lot of time in this special corner of her home. He'd be proud. <laughs> He'd be real proud, and so would Christina. Because I feel like they've sent me to do this. I really do. If you live in Montgomery County, there's a number at the bottom of your screen. It's for a free cab ride home. The Arrive Safe program is through the Montgomery County Prosecutor's Office. It's designed to prevent tragedies just like this one. Reporting live in Dayton tonight, Jackie Kuchar, Fox 45 News.